Hey guys, it's Lidwani. Today we're going to be making some breakfast snacks to help us get through the mornings and to get us through the week. We're basically going to be batch making these so that it's quick and you can have them on the go. So it just really helps us feel relaxed in the morning, especially when you're having a really hectic week. All the recipes can be found on my blog. I'll leave the links in the description down below. Alright, let's get started. We're going to start off by making some chocolate orange bars. Oh, these taste so delicious. To a food processor, we're going to put some cashew nuts, followed by some gluten-free oatmeal. And then we're going to also use some medjool dates to sweeten things up. Medjool dates are a great sugar substitute. They're super nutritious and also high in fiber. And then we're going to add some dried berry mix and then some almond butter, but you can also use cashew or peanut butter. It works really well for this recipe, followed by some coconut oil. Yeah, I really should have melted that. <laughs> And then we're going to add some orange zest. Now time to add some squeezed orange juice into the mixture and then we're going to blitz one more time and then transfer the mixture into a loaf tin or a small tin and then we're going to press it down to level it. Now time to make our chocolate topping. <laughs> I love chocolate. I mean, who doesn't like chocolate? Yeah, if you don't like chocolate, do let me know down in the comments. I would love to know you. All right, <laughs> once we're done, we're going to transfer our melted chocolate onto the mixture to cover it all out. Yay! Our mixture is now covered with chocolate so now it's time to pop it into the fridge and let it set for about 30 minutes and then after that it should look like this all nicely set and ready to eat once you've removed these from the fridge leave them outside for about 10 minutes or so to allow the chocolate topping to soften because you don't want yours to break like mine. <laughs> Next up, we're going to make some hazelnut chocolate granola. Yes, yummy. Let's get started. To a food processor, we add in three cups of gluten-free oatmeal. one cup of hazelnut let's get one more about a cup of hazelnut we're also adding some desiccated or shredded coconut Followed by some pumpkin seeds and chia seeds. Now time to add some cocoa powder followed by some sea salt and then some coconut oil to help the mixture as well as some maple syrup you can also use date syrup works just as well
Now time to transfer our granola mixture to bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. Now time to serve. Okay, I'm having mine with some plant-based yogurt, but of course you can have it with milk. The choice is yours. And I'm also having mine with some raspberries and cherries. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's definitely one of my favorites to make. It's easy and quick. And the best part of it is that you get to enjoy this granola for weeks and weeks until you run out and make some more. Our last recipe is a nut, seed and dried fruit trail mix. First up, we're going to be roasting our pumpkin seeds. So I'm going to be using my portable stove just to make it easier for you guys to see. You're going to need about a cup of pumpkin seeds. You can also use uh, sunflower seeds or any seeds that you like to use. I just find that pumpkin seeds works well for me. So you've got about a cup of pumpkin seeds. I really enjoy the earthy smell pumpkin seeds release when cooking it just smells so good We're going to finish off our trail mix with some plantain chips. If you like the crunch, then you don't want to leave these out. And just like that, our trail mix is ready to be stored up and to be enjoyed for the next few weeks. As you can see, all the snacks that we have made are quick and easy recipes that you can prepare in advance. You can honestly batch make any of these recipes and enjoy them throughout the week. That's it from me today. If you're looking for more breakfast ideas, do let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to whip up some more recipes for you. Alright, until next time, I'll see you later. Oh my god, was I recording? I don't think that I recorded that. Clean, grab, and have them on the go. Yeah, well, let's pause that. We'll be making some breakfast snacks to get help us get. You know what? I need to pray. <laughs> I need to pray. <laughs> Father in the name of Jesus, please help me. We did it!